Many school districts are using technology in the classroom, but those with successful programs know it's more than just putting the gadgets into the hands of students. <laughs> in tonight's Education Matters, Monita Stevenson is here to tell us how one school district rolled out a program that involved its entire high school. Juanita? Well, two years of planning and training went into Sanger Unified School District's plan to make sure all 2,800 of its high school students received an iPad. It's technology that students, teachers, and parents are embracing. Welcome to Google Classroom in the digital world that is called Mission Control for Students and Teachers. It's kind of like a home base of operations. I can put out assignments digitally, which cuts down on our paper usage. We can have online discussions, maybe that don't finish in time for class, so then they can finish it at home. I can put up calendars. This is how you teach when all of your students have access to an iPad. They use technology like textbooks, pencil, and paper. When we take tests, we don't have to use it on paper anymore, and it helps us because we can now do it on the iPads. Because at home, we would have like tons of papers, paperwork that we have to turn in. And right here, sometimes you could just do it on the iPad. 14-year-old Annalise Lopez is just one of the 2,800 students at Sanger High School who now have an iPad. The district rolled out its one-to-one -one iPad program this school year, putting the device into the hands of all of its students. It was a two-year process. We started the process basically by building the capacity of teachers first. We were the, they were the first ones to receive the iPads. Superintendent Matt Nava says it was important that those doing the teaching have the proper training, understand the technology first. We didn't want the device to take over. We, we really needed to, to make sure that we as educators understand that the device is like a textbook. It's a resource. It's a tool. A teaching aid that, if used properly, can enhance learning, engage students. You see that in this classroom. We could put title and content. There is a lot of collaboration. I think with the whole technology thing, I think it makes it more like fun. Like kids see it like as a better way. Like who doesn't like an iPad? Teachers say the technology can broaden the classroom, give students access, even when they are at home. Parent Kirsten Humphrey said it was exciting watching her son work on a project. He got to film the lunar eclipse with his iPad in time-lapse photography, which was really exciting to him. For the principal of Sanger High, which U.S. News and World Report named this year as one of the best high schools in the country, it was about continued excellence and fairness. I think it closes that digital, ga digital gap. Every kid has the same access. They have the, you know, the, the technology that they can take home 24-7. So it gives them a lot of practice with the device and uh, allows them to collaborate and be a part of all the group projects that take place. Educators say despite questions about technology in the classroom, this is how kids learn today. Everyone is connected. Teachers say in many ways they are learning just as much from the students as the students are learning from them. There leaps and bounds ahead of where I was when I was in high school. They're so impressive and they have such great ideas and I'm excited that they have this opportunity because the next generation going into the workforce is going to blow minds. They're phenomenal. Well, Sanger officials say they have security measures in place for the iPads and plan to expand the program to its middle schools next year. That is fantastic. You know, it, and it can only help the students yeah. do better, you know, as they get older and join the workforce, as you well, say. But I mean, everybody's connected today. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way we work. iPads aren't cheap, though. No, they're not. How do they pay for all this? Well, m a lot of schools did get grants mm -hmm. uh, to do this. Uh, and also, they're rolling it out piecemeal. And, okay. uh, and, and not only that, uh, they have security measures in place so mm -hmm. they don't get stolen, broken, and all that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. you can't just show up and say, my dog ate my well, iPad. And, well, there are <laughs> right? going to be, yeah, you you know, do that. obviously, there are going to be some cases where some do get broken and such. They, I'm sure they, they, they know what to do to deal with that. They well. do know what to do. And they said what they did is the first week that they mm -hmm. got this, they let the kids just play with it. Get it out of their system. Yeah. <laughs> you know. That's a great point. Yeah. Because, yeah. Thank <laughs> you, Juanita. Appreciate it.